In Star Wars The Force Awakens, Starkiller Base is an amazing base on a planet that eats stars and then shoots them out at planets as a laser beam. But that's impossible, right? But is it possible? How many suns would it need to eat to destroy Earth? Well, we need to start by establishing what Starkiller Base is actually doing. Killing stars. My theory on how this happens is that they have some form of extremely high technology that can convert all of the star's mass into energy. That's right. You may not have known, but according to Einstein's E equals mc squared, all matter is made up of energy. As you can see in the formula, to find out how much mass energy any object has, you multiply its mass by the speed of light squared. The speed of light in itself is fast, it being nearly 300 million meters per second and whatnot, and squaring it just gets a number insanely large. But then, multiply the mass by that number, and you get a heck of a lot of energy. For example, the average human's mass energy is 6.13 times 10 to the 18th joules. So, to find the energy converted, we need to know the mass of the star it's, um magnetically sucking? I don't know, they could be doing this in many ways. If it's obliterating Earth, it's safe to assume that it will be killing our sun. A simple Google search will find our sun's mass. And the sun has a mass with a lot of zeros. <laughs> Those resulting in the answer being 1.79 times 10 to the 47th joules of energy. Now these are big numbers. Sucking in an energy like this is going to be pretty insane. The heat would be incomprehensible, the power would be out of whack, and, well, you get the picture, the planet would probably blow up or something. But then this energy is concentrated into a beam which annihilates a planet. A method we can use to calculate the amount of energy to blow up Earth is the gravitational binding energy equation. This tells us how much energy is needed to be added to a mass for it to, well, gravitationally bind. We can't assume that all of the energy will perfectly transfer over, but if it did, then this equation will fit, and we can find out how much energy it will take to destroy the planet. G is the gravitational constant, just a number you always have to have when dealing with gravity. R is the radius of the planet, and M is the mass of the planet. Earth is this heavy, the gravitational constant is this, and the Earth's radius is displayed here. Final step is to calculate. 2.487 times 10 to the 32nd joules of energy. And now my favorite analogy. This is the equivalent to 1.08 times 10 to the 29th Big Max, and is 60 quadrillion times more powerful than the Sar Bomba, the largest man-made weapon ever detonated. And how much of our sun would it take to do this? Well, dividing the energies gives us a number with 13 zeros before the actual percentage. They hardly need to suck any of our sun. It's kind of scary to know that if such a base existed, we'd be at far more risk of dying than our little sun. Until next time, I'm the Theorizer.